Hey guys, Mon Animation here and still on the topic of Recon 4D. In this video, I'll be working with the app from a user perspective to create this image rendered using my phone. And yes, I had to bring back the previous render engine because it looked far better. So to start this up, the first thing I did was to open the app. And yes, at this point, I was still trying to work on the icon placement for the UI design. And I think it's fair to say compared to the previous version's UI design, this is clearly an upgrade. And for this scene, I will not actually be modeling, but instead I will import in a model I once used in Prisma 3D. And very few people might recognize this scene from one of my previous renders. So I simply just exported the model in an OBJ format, which is currently the only format that my app can import. And it's probably gonna remain like that for a while. And for those of you who might think this is a bad idea, I would have added other formats if I knew how to do that. And the fact that I'm making an app aside, this is still my first project. And I've just recently convinced myself that it's okay to reduce the standards a little bit. Anyways, as you can clearly see, it imported the models inside out. I can probably fix that when I resume developments, but all I have to do right now is to flip the model. Then I went ahead to make some copies of these models to fill up my scene. Then I imported a simple character that I could use for the render, also from Prisma 3D. And the moment I hit the render button, the scene started rendering. And then I remembered the reason why I removed this render that engine in the first place. The speed was very disturbing. Anyways, the scene didn't look as dense as I wanted, so I added some more copies, edited the light settings and tried again. And one of the perks to this render engine was the rendering variation. And just by changing the rate spread value, we could actually get a more stylized render. And at that point, I had an idea for what I wanted the final render to look like. And it required the scene to be shifted to the side of the character, while the camera takes up the other side. And the render was exactly what I wanted for this test run. And at that point, the scene was basically complete for me. Well, personally, I have nothing against the Gradient Render Engine, but Illusion just looks far better and it also offers flexibility. And yes, I do have a few ideas to make it actually render faster, but I can't test that until I resume development, which is currently on hold due to real life stuff and exams included. So yeah, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next video, which is probably gonna be a Prisma 3D animation or something.